My name is Vahid Chitzel, part of the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from. Yeah, let me uh, just adjust my camera for a second. I Take your time. Do it, little... Let's see. Here, maybe? Yeah, that should be. That's perfect. Right there is good. All right. So I am uh, the CEO and executive producer of uh, Forever Current. Forever Current Studios and Forever Current Publishing, which are um, Forever Current Studios is a media company, uh, media company predominantly, and also a indie label um, in the music industry. So, um, and then on Forever Current Publishing, that's a publisher, uh, music publisher that we also have, which is another arm of the company. So, kind of like uh, three companies in one. Awesome. So yeah. let's dive into it for entrepreneurship and business. A lot of individuals right now, they're transitioning at current time. I mean, they've been transitioning for a long time. I think right now is just like being pushed. They're getting that extra push that they need oh, to definitely. go through. Why should individuals move and transition from nine to five to owning their own business? Oof, uh, many reasons. I mean, beyond not wanting to work for someone else. Uh, I think, you know, when you're on a nine to five, you're capped to an extent. Uh, even if you get some raises and this and that, it's, you know, to be that, top, top percent that's going to go to making six figures and more is tough. Uh, it's really only going to be possible to scale if you do something on your own. Uh, the quickest way is most likely through e-commerce. Um, you know, so obviously there's that freedom. And, and once you can get your business to be successful, you know, you can, you can live by your own terms. And so there's a tremendous value in that, of course. Um, you know, call your own shots, choose who you want to work with. And again, you can also pivot at any point in time where you really just don't have that ability when you're working for someone else. How do I do that transition? Give us a couple of tips that you think will help us make that transition. I mean, I don't think people should quit their job and just dive into it. I think Not we need all. to kind of transition into it. What are some of your recommendations for that? Absolutely. I, you know, to an extent, this is synonymous with the advice I would give, let's say, the, you know, the average upcoming artist is that you know you want to do music the same way an entrepreneur may want to create a new product or do their own thing um but you have to feed your family and if it's not that you still have to pay some bills and whatever it may be uh, you know you got to keep working in the meantime and, and bringing in income and you start to create your product and you know i i i'm a big fan of setting benchmarks and if you can you know anywhere from one to three tasks towards this you know new uh, entity that you're trying to build your new product you're trying to build every day you can make consistent progress and build momentum. And when you actually start seeing that product start to make more money, if it's making you as much as you were making at your other job, time to quit, right? Um, if it's only half as much, maybe you can scale down to part-time here and now you know have more time and energy in here. But you definitely got to do it with a healthy transition. You can't just kind of jump off the cliff um, as much as that is what you know risk you got to take in general, a leap of faith. But you also have to be practical about it because you know, what I've seen is if people do it too early um, and, and it's not working out and then the financial stress burdens them and then they're not in the right mindset anyways to, to be creative and, and successful and market with the energy they need, you know. I mean, I mean, just logically from a from a math standpoint, from yeah. nine to five, you're spending 40 hours working. You have about 160 plus hours in entire week. So that still leaves you 120 hours empty for that let's say Absolutely. we spend another 40 hours sleeping which you shouldn't if you're an entrepreneur that is not unless not you have some that. medical condition i mean you really shouldn't need that much but okay let's just say that so to me that leaves at least one third of your time hours in the entire week free Absolutely. so if you gotta work so to me it's like there shouldn't be any excuse given no, nope. as far as the time goes, absolutely not. It's all about priorities. Um, you know, it's first things first before you get into a crazy stringent schedule, which is you know what most CEOs or entrepreneurs do because their time is very valuable. But even just starting out, you start with the minimal things of what can I sacrifice that is not bringing me personal development, that is not helping me grow this other business or, or nourishing this potential other creativity that I'm trying to go for, and so. Uh, let's start with TV, you know, now TV can be good for certain things, but most of the time, if you're watching it just for entertainment purposes, that's just a lot of time being wasted, you know, um, it, it's just a fact, um, again, sleeping, you know, whether you're sleeping nine hours or could you be sleeping six or seven, you know, um, 
it's it's about making every minute count right and i think a lot of that is just being organized and being conscious of it so you know what i've learned over the years from every big entrepreneur ceo books i've read is first of all organize schedule yourself every night before you go to sleep you want to definitely look at that list and say what are my three main goals towards that you know thing you're building tomorrow at the very least if you can accomplish more than three great but what's the three main goals and you have to do them and you have if you feel you don't have the time you have to figure it out um you know i myself i have two children a wife uh you know this business that you know it consists of almost three business models in one um and and other projects that i'm working on for other sources of income as well and so it, there's no option you know there's the 5 to 6 hours of sleep at most um it's really about getting quality sleep right so meditating before i go to bed having some type of you know um you know uh, special sounds uh you know to be able to actually really relax fall asleep quickly um and then by 5:36 in the morning it's you know yoga meditation quick workout to get my energy up reading something you know always educating yourself always reading always learning and then you actually work you know um and you put in those you know 6 hours or 7 hours of highly focused time and then i got to you know spend some time with my family so the time is there it's like you said you did the math i think that's what people um where people are having a tough time they're not just breaking it down and doing the math and realizing there actually is a lot of time so much more than i ever imagined um that they can be doing something productive with no i agree with that 100% uh i think i believe that a lot of the people that have a 9 to 5 should treat entrepreneurship just like as if it was another part-time job sure. if you treat it like that and you hold yourself as the boss you hold yourself as the person who does the schedule i believe you'll be able to get a lot done because if by 5 p.m. you're done then from 6 to like maybe 9 or 6 to 8 then you have that and you got a 30 minute you know lunch time you have that and keep in mind we didn't talk about saturday and sundays the to me saturday and sundays are just another day sun comes up and sun goes down we yeah, just yeah. labeled it saturday and sunday saturdays and sundays are not forbidden time for us to work and build our business so to me is like Completely. you have two full days right there that you could do 9 to 5 and then book yourself in yeah you might feel a little bit tired you might feel a, a little bit exhausted but if you have a mission to do think about all these doctors and nurses right now like how many of them would you say they're complaining about not sleeping right now like if they even bring up that conversation you're like people are dying you complaining about sleeping like just yeah. go to sleep wake yeah. up come back to work don't even talk about it. like don't even waste this time one yeah. minute just go do it and come back oh you know and part of that i completely agree part of that is about being passionate about you know whatever you're getting into entrepreneurship for Uh, some you know don't get me wrong definitely it makes sense uh you know if if the goal is you know to also make money and make profit you know and so a lot of people will be told the strategy is look into the market what's making money and and kind of follow that trend and that's part of the strategy but the thing is if you don't love what you're doing if you're not passionate if you can't relate to it in some way or another and if the audience you're going after can't relate to it you will get drained of that energy even quicker you know so it really is a mix of the strategy and 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 a you know, industry or product you can get into that should be lucrative but it also has to be about the passion because then you naturally wake up wanting to do it you find yourself like you said working late nights or working over the weekend and you don't feel like you're really working because you're actually doing something that you love and you're excited for and you can't wait to succeed with yeah what are two what are two, your top two self development books hmm you know i've I, in in recent years i've started to listen to a lot more podcasts than i have self you know than i have books but in terms of books that i think made big differences for me early on years ago uh one was no excuses by uh, brian tracy I'm not sure if you're familiar with that it's a good um, one the other one uh there's really two more the other w- one was by tim ferris the 4 hour work week i think that made a big difference for me also in learning how to you know uh kind of condense my day and and just create more time because it's it's really the base commodity. Um the other thing is um Gary Vaynerchuk I'm a huge fan of him. I followed him for a long time and so his books early on also, you know, really got me to 
to really open my eyes to what was happening in the market and stuff, but it's also packed with tons of, you know, self-development and growth, you know, type of motivation and inspiration. I see that you're a big fan of uh, Gary Vee's materials and content. I saw you were promoting his yeah. stuff on your page. That's very good. I mean, it, listen, success principles, in my opinion, don't change. No, they don't. So to me, it's like they're all probably saying the same thing in a different flavor, and then you could probably listen to different ones. That's what I would do, um, definitely. But self to listen, man, there's so much content on YouTube and, and other places for free that just requires your time. You have to okay. spend your time. Other than that, you're, you're, you're good to go. So how do people find you? Uh, you know, you can find me on, I'm pretty much on, on almost all the social media networks, you know. Uh, I'd say I'm most active on on Instagram, uh, not for promotional purposes as much as just connecting with people, you know, fielding responses and things like that and, and trying to put out some educational content for people. Um, recently, I got on TikTok. My wife and I kind of, uh, at the beginning of the coronavirus, and again, do we have time for TikTok? Not necessarily, but we just said, hey, if we, you know, if we can extract 20 minutes a day to just make a quick video, it's a platform that's really growing quickly. Um, and in our specific industry in music and entertainment, it's necessary to be on TikTok. So we started a channel. We actually went viral with several videos and we now have, I think, almost 12,000 followers in just like the last, you know, five or six weeks. So that's growing nicely. Um, I'm there, but really, uh, you know, the, the place you're going to find me is LinkedIn. That's where I'm on a lot. Um, or, you know, contacting me directly through my email or, you know, Gabriel. At Forever Listen, the people that want to find you, they'll be able to find you. <laughs> yeah. They, you're all over the place. Find me. We have a lot of you're content. You're good. You're already, you're already there. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to do more because I think it's that industry has a lot of individuals that definitely need more, more help and self-development. That's, what, Absolutely. that's one, of, one of the goals. We need to definitely put a lot information out there so you can guide them to to the right place thank you so much for taking this time to be with us this morning thank you Mahid. take care Talk to you later. Bye.